Hello everyone, this is Cosplay Gamer 907 and welcome to Blog32. Um, so yes, it is the evening before it has arrived. Um, we've all the uh, statuses I've put up, it's not statuses, we've all the little things I've been putting up on Snapchat and Instagram. It has finally happened. I am all packed for the weekend for Belgium. For PAX Convention 2019, I can't quite believe it myself if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, it's all here. You'll notice now that uh, yeah, all the Ninja Turtle stuff is packed. It's all in my case, which is down there. So it's all in there. Well, all laptop stuff and shits in there. So. <coughs> It's pretty much sorted except for I think like food and drink for for the day. Um, <clears throat> all my money's been changed and everything, so I'm all sorted. I'm fine. Um, I'm still slightly nervous but excited. I'm actually really mega excited now because it's it's hit the fan. Um, I was I've got to give out, give out two extra shout outs. They're kind of like. Ones that I missed out, which I thought I'd put in the video. Um, if you haven't seen the video, the description, well, the link for it is in the description below. It's actually because I've reached 600 followers on my Instagram. Um, so the link for that video is down there. Check it out. Um, so, yeah, um, if I haven't mentioned him, Jack from Kitchen, and also Jusband um, or Joe because um well <laughs> i forgot to mention him i was doing so many shout outs i completely forgot um so yeah shout out to you two um hope you're all having fun and mainly shout out to to the resi bunch um because you're the guy that you like watching this stuff so cheers um yeah i'm gonna do probably a little short video tomorrow when i get up um, and then I'll probably do another one on either the Virgin Train or the Eurostar because I'm going to get a Eurostar from St Pancras International about one o'clock. Um, <clears throat> there'll be like little snippets up on Snapchat and Instagram, and I'll do short blog bits as well. There's going to be a massive blog and loads of photos I'm taking over the weekend. Um, so. I've not just got my stuff to sign, I've got Matt's um, shot glasses to get signed as well. Which I was sending a photo to him after I've had them signed on Sunday. But I won't see him for two weeks after that because it's easy on holiday when I get back. So, yay. Um, <clears throat> so don't mind, I'm not going to go off. Um, have a good cup of tea and chill. But then go back and get up early in the morning. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Kawabunga. Hmm? Huh? Kawabunga! For text British Transport Police on 
the phones died. There wasn't any Wi-Fi. Good morning, everyone of YouTube. Um, welcome to day one of Fax Convention 2019. Yes, it is finally here after all the weeks of waiting and I mean short videos and live videos and updates on Instagram and Snapchat. It is finally here and I am doing a blog for it and I still can't quite believe it myself. Um, yeah, um, I did a live video on Instagram probably about five minutes ago. Um, so, yeah, I basically, for the second day, sorry, second day in a row, sleep pan got all buggered up. I got work about half five Belgian times, so that's like half four over in the UK. I'm still getting used to this whole time difference thing. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, I saw it all stuff out last night. Um, it was all on Instagram, so I'll just show you again. So in here is all the figures in the packets. In that is the Turtle Elpo, the artwork, and in, in that fight bag there is the cap and the two pop Funkos. So there we go. Yeah, that's all the stuff I'm taking to get signed today. And Matty's thing, uh, head chef residence, uh, his thing is in the locker. Um, no, it's not in the locker, sorry, it's in my case still. Um, that I'm doing tomorrow. Because, um, obviously, I want to be able to get some of the weed during the day. I'm literally taking all my yours with me, all, all of them. Even the ones that are actually in my wallet on, on the Eurostar. Um, what else happened? Um, well, let me go through my day. Um, yesterday, um... First class version, obviously. Um, got English breakfast, which was quite nice. Um, then I got the Eurostar. I thought I was actually going to miss it. Um, I Again, I got lost going walking to St Pancras, which is only like 600 metres away. But that just shows you how rare it is that I use St Pancras International. Really should have took the tube. But I'll do the tube when I'm coming back on the Monday. Um, got through and it, it was actually like being at an airport you got your passport control and everything so I was to go through all that um it felt really weird I got on the train and I was I was okay and then it got to a point where I was in well out of the window and I was in France and I thought shit it's happening um aside from that um it's just been general um chaos when I got here last night, um, well, when I got to Ghent St. Peter's Station, um, I had to get a number two tram, but, now I got a number two tram, but from the wrong, like, station, I was meant to get it from, I think, Ghent St. Peter Station, which is, I think, literally just a stone's throw away from the train station, which I'd come out of, um, and... So I ended up going all the way, it was on a number two tram, but I ended up going in completely opposite direction to where I was supposed to be. So then I had to come back, uh, get the number two tram that was going in the opposite direction, get that one, and eventually get off. Now my phone died, I came out, and because obviously I had no data on the phone, so I had no idea where the hostel was. I had to ask people there. and they had, and I think one person didn't have a clue where it was, another one... It was literally because the direction I was facing, um, it was kind of like, the direction I was facing was like kind of as if I was going to go off towards Holland. Um, it was essentially like a right turn. There was a road that deviates right opposite where, I, where like the main station bit was. Um, and the town of Zood actually in Ghent. Um, so, yeah, sorry, uh, so I wasn't actually that far away, there's actually a nice Italian restaurant just down, just literally up the road, 
which I think I may go there tonight actually after I've dropped all the stuff off in my room um, looks really nice some nice Italian stuff or I may just go Pizza Hut now I did promise the guys at residence um, that no, there's a fish and chip restaurant called Fry Willies yes that's the name of the restaurant it's not I, I don't know whether it's a takeaway or not I'd have to find out, um, and because basically there's like a young chef in our kitchen who's called Will. I said I was going to go there, take a selfie, put it up on Instagram. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to slowly head down for breakfast now because it is now twenty to eight in the morning, and our breakfast is start late. But I'm really, really actually might go down and have a coffee. Um, so yeah, that's uh, generally it so far. There's going to be bloggies today, lots of it, um, and yeah, it's all happening. So I will see you all later on in the day. Bye. Alte Maria Medelaris. back to the blog and we're here um, at Flanders Expo she is just over there you see that where people are going um, yes yeah, it's quite bizarre I can't think of living there um, I'm going to try and work out which entrance we've got to go in now which I'm assuming is going to be where all these people are but I won't be going until 10 o'clock, so that's what I have my tickets for. So uh, it's going to be fun. So I'll see you all inside. Bye.
classes and then that's everything. Um, I've taken on loads of photos and stuff that I've got signed. Some of it up on Snapchat, some of it isn't because the Wi Fi did out. So I've to upload it to my page. Um, there's a link for the description down there. So you can check it out on there. Um, Good evening everyone, um, welcome to the end of day one, it's, it's been a bit of a roller coaster actually, it's, um, it's been a bit bonkers, um, I got all my stuff signed, all of well my stuff, um, Matt's stuff's getting signed, Matt's thing's getting signed tomorrow which is, uh, It 
these. Yeah. Never seen those before. Um, so he's going to have a sign tomorrow. Uh, I've got the money for it in my locker. Which is over to my left. Camera's right. Um, I've put all my stuff back in the case now. Um, so essentially it's all done. Um, just come back from having a f four Maggi pizza. A four four Maggi pizza. It's basically four cheese. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I gave Kevin the pieces of artwork which I took and he was really impressed with him, really liked him. Um, that Yeah, that was... The whole day has just been crazy. It's like... Did that just happen? Um, was the day crazy? Yes. Did it just happen? Yes. Is it going to sink in? Um, I don't honestly know when it's going to sink. It's going to sink in at some point. Um, God, did those proper emotional. Um, <sighs> Got to go back to my because I'm only getting two things signed. I don't really, really need to be there like first thing in the morning. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna go in time for either. I'm probably going. Probably going to go in the afternoon in time for the second photo session, photo session, signing session, which I think starts at half one. I think I'm not 100% sure. Um, hold on. I've got a program here. It doesn't actually say me when it starts, which is a bit of an arse. Sunday, here we go. Uh, blah 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 blah. Signing sessions hall four, which is kind of there. So got all this shit going on. Sorry, I pressed the cancel button. Um, I'm thinking if if I leave here about, it's going to start at half ten. I can get to be in for about 11 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> get the two things signed. Obviously, it's going to include a black and white print. Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'm just like having like. Matt, I'm absolutely done in. Absolutely shattered. Um, so if I go on for about 11, well, if I leave here at 11, get the number one, I think it's the number one tram from here. It goes straight to Flanders Expo, which would be great, because then I can go there, get the two things signed, and then I can come back, and then I can just do my thing. Uh, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, and then I can just chill out and do whatever the hell it is I want to do. Um, Wi-Fi has not been great. Instagram's really been pissing about recently. I mean, all of today. It, like, it goes to black and then opens up, which is really bizarre. Um, So, again, um, it's just going to be chill out mode. I'm probably going to go take laptop down, uh, sketchbook, do some drawing, um, have a few coffees, God knows what I'll do. Um, So uh, yeah, that's been basically day one. Um, yeah, the, even at the TARDIS there, it was like free photo with the TARDIS, and I wish I'd known I would have actually gone to my ten gear. <laughs> no, actually, no, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have. 
Um, have I found my first con abroad so far? Um, pretty good. They have some cool stuff. Um, they had like a cap Captain Marvel on motorbike Pop Funko, which was like oh, 35 euros. I nearly bought it. I was like, no, no, no. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go now. Um, I'll see you all in the morning for the final day. Um, I can't make it sound like the end of the world. Um, yeah, so till then, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. Um, and it's nice and sunny outside. Uh, don't know if you can tell because of the lighting. But it is nice and sunny outside. Um, I've got Matt's uh, Ninja Turtle retro shot glasses in my bag. I've got my Turtles Forever DVD in my bag. That's one extra thing I'm going to sign. And then that's it. Um, I'm going to probably do a bit more recording today um, because now the time is. I don't want to say, actually know what the time is. Uh, it's quarter past ten, uh, which means this signing session won't start for another 15 minutes, but by the time I get there, it will probably die down, so I'm right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it. I think it's going to take a few days for sink to, to sink in. Um, I may have mentioned that last night and might have mentioned it in my live video I did on Instagram. Instagram's been an absolute arse because it keeps going to black every time I try to load it up. So I don't know what's going on. Um, so when we get in, those two things signed today, I'll do some just general recording, really. Turns out um, they've got a TARDIS there. Huh, who knew? Um, so... Yeah, that's what's going on today. Um, I'm probably not going to do any blocking until I get there. So it doesn't really seem the point. Um, <sighs> those of you who watched his blog, or just in, just in general have watched blogs, whether it's my gameplay, or whether it's anything else really, um, if you want to subscribe, the subscribe button is down there. Um, if you want to watch past some of my previous blogs, links down there, gameplay links down there somewhere, so check those out. Um, yes, I'm now going to go head off and I will see you all later. Bye.
that's the end of day two. Uh, just leaving now. thing signed which is just about um, so yeah it's a bit bizarre me Kevin today so I'm gonna head off now and I'll see you all later bye okay so that's basically the end of Fax Convention 2019 spring um, I'm just waiting at the tram station now to get the tram back to um, Ghent where I've got to Change to get number two back to the town of Zood where I'm staying. Um, been a real bizarre day. Absolutely weird. Um, yeah, this weekend won't sink in for quite a long time. I'll say quite a long time, probably a few days. Give it a few days, I'll probably have sunk in. Um, yeah, I don't know if you know what I'm saying, because, you know, I've just met like kind of like my comic book artist idol, so. It's a weird thing, but it's also a good, good thing. I think the photo I got with him and everything else is probably going to be imprinted on my memory for the rest of my life. Um, so, I got my thing signs I've already mentioned, uh, he's already got a photo of it, so I sent it to him, he likes it. Um, I got Kevin to personalise it to him, he's going to make it a bit more valuable or worthwhile now. So, it's going to be great to see his face. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for the tram to get here and then I'm going to chill out and sort out all my photos. I've got to take quite a fair few today. I've got myself four posters, it's like four for like 10 years. And I've got a little coaster. Um, yes, that's everything. Uh, so I'm now going to sign off for now and I'll see you all when I get back to the room. There it is. Guys, it's uh, 22 in the morning. Is it 22? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong clock. Um, it's 22 in the morning. Um, I'm actually downstairs in the lounge chilling out because when I got back today, I slept, so I didn't really uh, do the end bit of the blogger earlier on. Um, 
Now, for those of you who remember the uh, picture that I put up on Instagram, those of you who have seen it, um, I want to show you something else because when I got back, I checked on my Instagram and I got literally the. I am not kidding, this happened. Mark Hasso plays Leonardo and Kevin Eastman himself like the post up of me and me and him in the farewell. I want to scream but I can't because it's really late. <laughs> I've got no words for for that notification, nothing. I was that excited, all I could do was just put something up on the Instagram scene. So about Kevin, he's been like in the future, I've actually circled the notification and it's like... I... I uh, uh, I don't think the weekend could have gone any better. That is, this whole weekend has been absolutely crazy, it's been bonkers. Going to a Comic Con in a different country, first time I've done this, first time I've gone to another country on my own. I mean, yes, I've been, you know, abroad before, but that's when it's been like family holidays, so it's kind of like not the same thing. But doing this on my own, I was nervous, I was excited. Saturday, I was buzzing. Today, I was buzzing even more. Um, I got photos with guys who cosplay as Raphael, so that's pretty cool. Um, I took quite a few more photos today. There was a whole set because the Flanders Expo Arena is absolutely massive. I mean, we're talking absolutely huge. They had like a whole section for the guests and the f basically the, the photos, the, the like the film actors, they were down the bottom end of kind of where <laughs> it's the film and artists whole area. There's a whole section for the artists, then you got the photos, and you got the main guests right at the back. Um, I was just buzzing. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be before everything that's happened this weekend sinks in. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Um, I thought meeting Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant and Peter Capaldi in one weekend was going to be massive and nothing would top that. This weekend has topped it in like the biggest way possible. It's just been the most mad, crazy, and insane weekend of my life. I think it's it's going to be up there for highlights of my entire life. Nothing's going to come close. Yeah, not even me and Chris. And I mean, Chris and David, I thought for a long time was going to be the top thing. But me and Kevin Eastman, it's just kind of like eclipsed it by a mile. So, yeah, uh, to, well, in a few hours, I head back um, to England. I'm going to be so depressed when I get back home Monday night. Well, it's technically Monday now, but in the evening I'm going to be so, like, I don't want to go home. It's <laughs> the thing, I'm enjoying being in Belgium too much, but I've, I need to go back because I've got work in two days. Um, yeah, it's the most... I think getting the stuff signed was pretty awesome. Like, everything that I talk, I got signed up. It was just, it was just great. It was... Yeah, I don't have words for it. I generally don't have words f for Saturday, never mind today. 
And as for the notification I got of him liking the photo on Instagram, I mean, that's an insane moment in itself. The fact that Mark Casso, who played Leonardo in the 1990s film, liked it as well, it just makes it like double bonus. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the same tomorrow, sort of like blog, take short things, put them on Snapchat and Instagram uh, from the way back. Um, I'm probably not gonna do much in terms of when I get back to London. I'm not gonna do much. Um, blogging because obviously I will be all getting food from Burger King before I get on the train because I still kept like the 20 quid English money um, so that's going to be a f that's going to be fun um, yes I'm mainly I'm going to sleep on the way back because the train I'm getting is last destination's crew so I will probably sleep all the way back because I'm just going to be so exhausted. Um, I'm going to be getting lunch from Domino's which is opposite the train station so, that, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've got to remember, I've got to, get, I've got to um, find where the restaurant Fry Willy is because I said to Will bef uh, the day before I was going well, the Wednesday, on the Wednesday, that I'd, that I'd go to the restaurant and get something to eat. But obviously, I, because of the weekend and it's been so mad, I've I've not had the time. So I've got to go there. Um. Probably before I get the tram back, because it won't take me too long. But I think I'm off. Now, I'm even going to have to do it before I go for breakfast. Oh, I'm just not going to have time for it. Maybe I can, you know. There's actually a Comic Con in Ghent next month. Now, I may do a spontaneous thing and go down. If I end up doing that, I'm probably going to stay here again. Just, it's a really cool place. Um, so. Yeah, um, I've been talking for eight minutes and nine times of what I've said, I've just kind of repeated over because I'm just still coming to terms with it. My phone's just gone off. Um, I'm going to be having another coffee in a minute. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. Um, so to the, p the facts convention people who organised the event this weekend, thank you for getting Kevin Eastman. Um, to Kevin, he was like I said earlier, it was a huge, huge honour to meet you. Um, probably you're probably not going to see this blog, but um, thank you. It was a huge honour meeting you, especially all the stuff I got signed. You know you're happy to chat and talk about it um yeah so yeah this weekend biggest bone of my life eclipsed me in chris and david but but this month in general is just going to be bonkers and it's going to be emotional i've got a combo with david and billy no oh, sorry i've got i don't know one thing i need to do i need to watch captain marvel because i've not watched that yet then I'm going to be getting a ticket for Infinity War slash Endgame back to back. So I'm watching, I'm watching Infinity War, it'll be about a half hour break, and then I go back in for Endgame. And then I've got, well, it's coming on the last Saturday of April where I'm having a combo with David Tennant and Billy Piper together. So that's going to be nuts. Um, On oh, Wednesday morning, um, my uh, oh, sorry, um, 
just general photo ops for Sebastian Stan aka Bucky Barnes from like Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America the First Avenger, well basically the Captain America trilogy and Infinity War yeah so that's going to be interesting and fun um, I just hope I can get one um, Yes, yeah, so this is going to be. Oh, it's going to be absolutely crazy this week. Is I just don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm probably going to be so excited for this entire month. This entire month is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go sign off now, and I'll probably see you later on. So till then. Take care, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Morning, everyone. It is nine o'clock. Yep, uh, we've just got nine. Um, it is Monday, and yes, that means I know it's depressing. It means I have to pack and go back to England, and I'm pretty much all packed. So it's on the gear sign one more time. Uh, I zoom in. Um, I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting. There's signature there. There's another one there. The cap's got signs, so you get the general idea. Yeah, everything's got signs. Um, well, I'm so out of focus there. Shit. Hello. There we go. And it's not sunny today, it's all a bit cloudy. So I'm now fully. Pack, I must swear that got oh, fucked up the zoom. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much all packed now. Um, I'm just gonna go down for breakfast, um, have that, and I want to come back up and get the case. I don't know if to take the case down. Might be easy if I take the case down, so I've got to take the case. Hold on, make sure I get everything packed, the cables, everything. I got four posters yesterday. Um, I'll probably. Photos of me at some point. I'm not even sure where I'll put them. I know I'll put them in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's in my bag. I'll take a photo of them at some point. Uh, one thing I did get was this cool coaster. So use a snow. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm now going to. Um, just go down for breakfast, um, chill out, and then I'm going to check out. Um, so oh, that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, I just want to do before I actually get the tram back to where I'm going to go. Is I've got to go and find this Fry Willie's West restaurant because um, I promised like well from work that I would get a photo of it. Or selfie with me outside it, and then obviously that go up on Instagram. So, yeah. Right, I'm now going to head off, and I'll see you all later. Bye.
Welcome to the end of blog 33, that's right, blog 33, um, I am now going to be showing you, um, sorry, start that again, you've seen like photos on Instagram and Snapchat of various things that have been signed, um, I'm now going to show, show you like properly, so we're going to start with the graphic novels, and there was quite a lot, so bear with me on this. Okay, so what we've got is we've got this one, which is the Batman Ninja Turtle, Volume 1. We've got Kevin Eastman who signed it, and down here, you can't tell because it's dark, but if I zoom in, that's the signature of James Tim... something, Timian, I think. The fifth, he was also one of the writers who worked on the comic, so he signed that as well. And then we've got these four, which I found in the charity shop last last year. So obviously he signed each and every one of them. He has like personalised all of these. And this last one, car, but I mean that is just that's incredible. So <clears throat> now I've got the graphic novels out of the way, we're now getting you can't even fucking see. Right, so now we've got those out of the way, we're now going to get to the cool stuff. So signed this DVD, which you can just see there. It's the Turtles Forever DVD. Which I believe you can probably you can probably watch it on YouTube. I'm not 100 percent sure. Now, I've got two Ninja Turtle Pop Funkos. One was a gift, a birthday gift, I think last year or the year before, of my sister. Uh, then at the time, boyfriend, just now fiance. So we got this one, Raphael. You can see he signed it there. We've got Michelangelo 8 bit, which I 8 bit Pop Funko, which I got from Liverpool Comic Con last year. 
which he has signed there. And then there's these, now these are really cool. All four of these are based off the 80s T animated TV series. So Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo and Raphael. All still in the packets, all four are signed. And that is pretty awesome to be fair. Now then we've got this cap, which if you look at the artwork, I'll just try and hold it up. See, some of the artwork on here is based off that first book there. And he has signed that, and that cap I am never wearing again. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically all that stuff. And then we get to my favourite bit. Which is what's in here. I've just got to find the zip to open this up. Ah, found it. Annoying thing this is. Oh, if there's any idols like you guys have always wanted to meet and you've met, um, comment below for your idols that you've met and how much of an awesome weekend it was for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the artwork. Now, I printed off 16 pieces of artwork, all like Ninja Turtle, obviously it was Ninja Turtle based. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you this. Look at that. That is a photo of me and Kevin Eastman. Now I took a photo of this and I put it up on Instagram. And I got a notification on Sunday that Kevin Eastman had liked it. No, sorry, that was Saturday night. And then on Sunday, Mark Casso, who played Leonardo in the 1990 Ninja Turtle film, liked it as well, so that's pretty much made my weekend. Now, you're gonna rip. No, where is it? So let's get through the copy ones. We're going to get to the awesome one. This one here is absolutely off the scale. It is these pieces of artwork. All of them, by the way, they have all been signed. I'm not joking on this, so just... <sighs> so we've got Bebop and Rocksteady. Don't even see that there. Yep, so we signed it there. This one, I'm going to have to hold this up. You can see signed it at the bottom there. The three Leonardos. So 87, 90, and 2003. He's signed there. You're getting a picture now, so he signed that one. So, down there. Where was it? There we go. Michelangelo, he signed, and his poor little turtle face. And he signed Raphael. And he signed this one, which is based on concept art from the Batman Ninja Turtle graphic novel. And if you just zoom in there, there we go. And last, but by no means least, this, which I brought from two guys who were in a store called Two Worlds Collide. Um, you can check those out. Um, I think they've got a Facebook page and an Instagram. Um, this. 
This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soundtrack from the 1990 film on LP, first time released in any format. And I've got this signed, so you can just see there. So he's done the turtle thing here, and if we move along, there we go. Sign it as well. So, oh, and. Now I actually had to buy three of these. So there's my two which are in here, and this one here. This is the one that's for Matt, my boss. Um, <clears throat> Matt, you won't be getting that and uh, the shot glasses until like, not this week, but be the week after. So yeah, that's everything signed. Uh, apologies, it's gone on for quite a while, but you know, I just wanted to get everything on. Um, <clears throat> I know I've mentioned this before, like when I was checking out, but I thought me and Chris Freckleston, David Tennant and Peter Capaldi, in one day at London Film Comic Con last summer, was like the, the top thing. I thought that was, yeah, I thought nothing would eclipse it. All this, all that, has eclipsed it by a mile. And I, it's going to take time to sink in. It, honestly, it really will because he was like my artist idol. He was like he co he was co creator of a show that I watched literally all the time as a kid. Um, was it worth sacrificing MCon for? Hell yes. If he came over to England, would I go and meet him again? Yes. Um, he is so down with and he has time for all of the fans. Um, I've just got a big massive thanks to Fax Convention for getting him, to be honest. <laughs> um, probably tell that I'm like giddy, excited and I'm absolutely shattered. It's been one of the best weekends of my whole life. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else really much to say on that. Um, except, uh, thanks for sticking through the entire blog. Um, it's been a crazy weekend. It's been a mad weekend. Um, and I've still got to meet David Tennant, Billy Piper, and watch Avengers Infinity War and Endgame with Cheshire Rose as a double bill. I'm going to be a wreck at the end of this month. So, yeah, I'm now going to sort all of this out, and yeah, sorted. So, um, I'm going to charge my phone up, and then I'm going to do a live video. Um, I'll pop I'll post up on Instagram when it's going out. Um, I know I've got to get started on something for blog 31 a pre-credit scene because that that was actually done the blog was last October and I'm filming for blogs of this year so I'm kind of way ahead of behind schedule whichever way you look at it um, yeah I actually really enjoyed Belgium absolutely amazing um, would I go there for a holiday again most likely um, <clears throat> so without further ado um, I will let you will go well not literally let you go that sounded a bit sinister um, I will go and let you guys do your everyday lives and all the rest of it so till then take care and I will leave you all on this quote as Michelangelo said Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for a light pizza. Layers. <clears throat> I have always liked Kawabunga. Hmm? Huh? Kawabunga!